Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, this is your quick tip of the week. So the female end of this garden hose has broken off, detached, whatever you want to call it. So this was a medium duty hose. It wasn't the cheapest thing on the shelf. So I'm surprised this happened so quickly. The rubber gasket is still here on the inside. That's the first thing I checked. If your hose is leaking from the hose bib, first thing to check is this gasket here is it damaged or broken it's not damaged or broken in this case and it is uh separated so the plan will be to cut this here and then put on a new uh female end that should fix the problem but we'll see how this goes so what we'll do now is material and tools all right this is our material and tools list so this is our new connector it has the barb here and then it has a gear clamp. I am not actually a fan of this style here, but this is all they had on the shelf. They had a, a different type. They apparently had five of them, but uh, there's nothing on the shelf. So we're going to have to go with this here. We have a knife to cut our hose and then we have a quick pick screwdriver to tighten our gear clamp. So guys, with this in mind, let's get started. All right, so we'll take a look at our parts. This is our barb. It has the O-ring on the inside, and then this is a gear clamp. So the gear clamp has a slot in the middle for a screwdriver to go like this. I'm going to do this the DIY way. So if you don't have a socket set, use this, uh, the slot, but I believe this is a 5 16 which is typical for plumbing. It would be better to use a nut driver or a socket, a 5 16 socket. But if you don't have either of these tools, then just use the screwdriver. So the idea here is we'll cut this off, we'll slide this inside, and then we're going to clamp this on, and that should technically give us a watertight seal. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our hose. So the hose flares out here. So just go a little bit lower. Make sure that you have also a good blade because uh, a dull blade will give you a really bad cut. So that is our hose end. Slide the gear clamp over it first. So this is a 5 8 Make sure that if you have a 5 8 hose, which this is, uh, buy a 5 8 If you have a half inch hose, I believe for a garden hose, 5 8 is typical. But anyways, we're going to slide this into our hose. All right, so I've, I've uh, slid the barb on all the way to the bottom here. So for our gear clamp, all we're going to do is tighten it on okay so that should be fine these gear clamps if you tighten them too much uh you will snap the uh the band the grooves here and then this thing will start leaking so we have our o-ring we're going to stick that back inside And this fix should be technically done. Now, guys, in my experience, I've had a lot of problems with this style that uh, it would leak anyway, but it just wouldn't leak as bad. This hose is $60. This thing cost me $7. So it's worth a try. Like I said, this wasn't my first choice for a repair, but this is what they had. So this is what I went with. So what I'll do now is I'll go attach the hose and we'll see how watertight this is. All right, so we're gonna test this now. And it's actually holding, which uh, I'm somewhat surprised with. But guys, to change out uh, an end of a hose, cut it off in this particular design, slide the end on, put the gear clamp on. If it's leaking, then tighten the gear clamp a little bit more 
but don't go crazy if you snap the gear clamp you have to go buy another one and that's just going to cost you more time and money guys a $60 hose has been fixed for $7 and for the moment it's not leaking guys that is your quick tip of the week